Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my second um, video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do these four things. I'm actually going to try and show you how to do those things whilst creating somebody else's design. So you may have seen this design in the past. Um, it's a surfs up design that the students created. Now that one there is going to be quite easy to replicate. Okay, and I'm going to show you just how to do the wave to start off with. Okay, so if I talk to, about, talk to you about creating and deleting shapes, along here I can create rectangles or squares, circles, ellipses, polygons, basic shapes, and text. Okay? They're the main things that you need to know, and the line, of course, about creating a line. Okay? Um, when creating all of these, I highly suggest that you choose hairline. Okay? It needs to be hairline because that's what the laser cutter sees as a cut. If it's anything other than hairline, it's going to see it as an etch. If it etches, it will take far longer to create that um, the line in the um, acrylic than it would if we just do a cut shape, yeah, a cut as in a hairline. Okay, so please try and stick yours to hairline. Okay, yours may start as being 0.2 millimeters thick, which is the um, the default. You'll need to change that to hairline. Okay, okay. So by starting. Click, let go, click, let go, click, let go. Yeah, easy as that. Okay. If I want to be a bit more accurate, I want to draw a line that goes straight from that intersection. Yeah, intersection. Just click and wait. When you see those blue, um, the blue writing coming up, it tells you it's right on that node. So I know that those are right joined up. Yeah, I know that that's going to be right in the middle there. It's going to be right at that intersection. Otherwise, if I'm just going to go by by feel, yeah, I'm not accurate enough. And it's not going to cut out properly and it's not going to look any good. Okay, so I'm going to go Z to zoom. I'm going to zoom out to the page again. Okay, so that's talking a little bit accuracy. I want to delete those shapes. I can't just hit the delete button. I've got to go function, delete. Okay, function, delete will delete them. I'm going to start by drawing this surfs up shape. Okay, so I start, I know how big a piece of plastic I've got. I've got a piece of plastic that's A4 size, so that's 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters. Okay, there's the shape that I've got. I'm going to move that by using my um, my um, pick tool. I'm going to move it up into the top left hand corner of this box. This box represents the laser cutter bed. The piece of acrylic that you put into the laser cutter, you'll put into the top left hand corner of the laser cutter. That's the way you will always do it. Okay, so always your stuff will go in the top left hand corner of the laser cutter, so all of the things that you draw will also go in the top hand top left hand corner of the laser cutter. Okay, moving on to creating your shape. I know that the frame that your piece of acrylic sits in is 60 millimeters high. So the top the bottom 60 millimeters I can't use. So I'm going to draw a rectangle that's 60 millimeters tall. I've just drawn a random rectangle. I don't care how wide it is. All I care about is that it's 60 millimeters tall. Okay. And again, there's my 60 millimeter tall rectangle. I now want to be accurate. So I'm going to go and take that node and move it down to that node. Okay. Don't just go like this. If you go like that, you're not really sure that you're ever going to be 100% right. Can you see that's out? You're better off to go node, drag it down to the node. Okay. Now we're going to delete that later on. So I don't care whether that's sticking out there or not. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create this surfs up. Okay, so how do I do that? I can do that with a curve. So if I drop down here and choose a three point curve, I'm going to choose a curve that goes from about there to about there. Okay, now I know I was talking about accuracy just before, but I want it to go like this. So I'm going to explain how that works a bit later on. So there's the shape. I'm not 100% happy with that shape. So I'm going to go to the shape tool. And the shape tool will all of a sudden bring me up these nodes that I can play around with. So I want it to be more like that. Yeah, I want the, the I want the the surf to be vertical up. I want it to like that. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. Okay. So that there, oops, I'm not going to do that. So that there is my curve. Okay. I'm going to draw another curve because that's going to represent the inside of the um, of the surf. I reckon it's going to be. Oh no, it's not. I'm going to escape. I reckon it's going to start there, it's going to finish there, and it's going to be like, oh, you know, kind of like that, I think. Okay. But again, it doesn't look right, 
quite right. So I'm going to grab the, the um, those t that tool, and I'm going to start to try and bring it, make it look more like a, a piece of surf. Yeah. Oops. Grab that one. Make, drag that in. Make it look more like a. Ooh, does that look about right? That looks more like a surf. I like that. Okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah, so I'm going to click there and let go. So I've got my surf. Okay. Um, so modifying, shaping. I've shown you how to modify. I've shown you how to shape. Okay. Um, I'm going to press stop now and I'm going to let you have a bit of a play with that. You can use a number of things to create shapes. So you can use this three point curve, but you could also use this thing called a B spline. And that allows you to create organic shapes like that, that you can then play around with. Can I just show you another couple of things with um, playing with organic shapes? Now that I've got that, I can make it bigger or smaller, yeah, that way. I can decide to make it, if, I put my, if I'm happy with that, I can decide to make it smaller. I can make it, say, 200 by 100 if I wanted to, yeah. I can play around with it that way. I can flip it. Can you see here I can mirror it vertically? I can mirror it horizontally, okay? I could also rotate it 45 degrees or whatever angle I want. Yeah, I could also just grab that center there until I've got that circle, and that allows me to all of a sudden start to rotate it around. Okay, so there's a range of different ways of modifying your um, different shapes. Okay, so we've talked about drop down commands, modifying, shaping, accuracy, creating, and deleting shapes. I'll let you have a bit of a play, and I'm going to show you in my next um, tutorial how you will put text into there. Okay.